हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू जनरेट पीडीएफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स इनसाइड नोड जेएस एप्लीकेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल व्हिच इज पीडीएफ डैश क्रिएटर दैट डैश नोड सो हियर यू जस्ट नीड टू ओपन कमांड लाइन इनसाइड योर फोल्डर सो दिस इज माय फोल्डर हियर सो जस्ट ओपन कमांड लाइन हियर एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू इनिशियलाइज नोड प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच इज npm init dash y सो दिस विल क्रिएट एम्प्टी पैकेज डॉट जेसन फाइल एंड देन यू जस्ट नीड टू execute this command which is npm i pdf creator dash node so this install npm i pdf dash creator dash node so this is a dependency so now it will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds depending upon your internet speed and it will install this module inside your package dot json file so just wait it is installing this module so you can see that it is a popular module it has 738 weekly downloads after you download this module you just need to create a simple template your html template and then we will be making use of this html template and you can even provide dynamic options as well format orientation border header footer all that stuff we will see once this module is has been installed so just wait it is still installing so there is a create method inside this module with the help of this you can just create the pdf document alongside with the options this returns a promise we can handle this promise by dot 10 in any kind of error we can just handle this by dot catch so let me just see it is still installing so just wait so for uh, for this module we also need phantom js so you can see that it is automatically installing this phantom js module so it is saying to me that phantom js not found in path so basically when you install this for the very first time it will also install phantom js so phantom js if, if you just search on google if you just do a quick search phantom js so basically it is kind of a headless browser which is uh, responsible for the pdf generation so this module depends upon this dependency so it is also uh, installing this module here you can see that 98 99% so now it is successfully installed here and now basically we can just open this inside our visual studio code so phantom dot js is a headless browser used to use for pdf generation and an automatic uh, screenshot as well so you can with the help of this library you can always take the screenshot of your website so now you will see your package dot json file in if you open this file you will see uh, the name of the project version description and inside this dependency section you will see your pdf creator that dash node dependency now i will create my index.js file which will be the starting point for the application so i will go back to the documentation of this plugin and uh, first of all we need to import this module so we can just copy paste these lines here for this module we are also using file system module which is a built in module in node.js so after importing these two dependencies we also need to create a html template from which we will be generating the pdf so just copy this and inside this directory we will create index.html file copy this so here you will see that this uh, double braces these are used for dynamic inserting of data so here we will be passing this data inside this html document you will see so after creating this we just need to uh, store this html just create html variable here and inside this file system variable we have this function read file so we are using just renamed it to index.html so we are reading this html file and storing its contents in, inside this html variable so main aapko message kar raha hu yaar message kar raha hu and then we just need to provide the options here so these are the default options that this plugin gives us so just make this options variable on the next line and then you just need to create your dynamic users here so just create a users uh, array here mm, what is the error here options Uh, 
let me just fix it guys so just wait mm, I think that this is creating this problem we need to delete this line here so I can just uh, cut this line so cut that's it so this was the problem now we have created the options so now we just need to create this users as well so also create this users like this after the users we create our document object so just paste this so inside this document it takes the HTML that we have uh, get from this file here index.html we have stored this inside this HTML variable so we have initialized the HTML to the HTML variable and the data we are passing this users array so inside this users array we have three objects name age this is the first user second user and third users and after that we are providing a path here so we will create this output.pdf file inside our root directory so this output.pdf file will get created and now after that we just need to <coughs> use the create method of the document of the library pdf.create so this is a module that we have imported so in this module there is a create method and this create method takes two options first is the pdf document that we have initialized and then the options so these are the default options that we have provided here you can change these options at any point of time so now if I run this application node index.js so hopefully it will create a output dot uh, pdf file so now you can see that it has created this file dynamically so I just cannot display this pdf file so if I open this file in internet explorer you will see that it, it will be creating this pdf file so just wait it is opening and now you will see that all the three users are there you can add as many users as well inside your index.js let's suppose uh, I add another user here uh, so this is very easy so just put a comma here and change this to John 45 and we can even change the index.html file as well so let's suppose we add another heading here h2 heading this is h2 heading and let's suppose I add some CSS as well so we can just make the body background color change to red color let's suppose if I make this changes and now if I once again run this command node index.js so it will replace the existing file of output.pdf and now basically if I open this file inside our chrome browser this time open with google chrome so hopefully it will also take the css changes as well so you can see that it takes the css changes that we have applied here custom css background color and it converted this whole pdf web document inside this pdf inside our node.js application so this was a very basic tutorial on how to convert your web page in into pdf document in node.js using this module so thanks very much for watching this video